You know, the consciousness movement has led us in to create a kind of a hybrid spirituality that is mixed with a very toxic degree of narcissism. And we need to look at that. It has made us very hypersensitive and not very strong. I would say to you, what has it made us conscious of? Because if it made us that conscious of the world, we wouldn't be in the state we're in. If it made us that conscious of the world, we wouldn't have dropped the ball on the management of freedom and the Bill of Rights. But we did. We've lost our civil rights. We dropped the ball. We dropped the ball on the management of the Earth's creatures, and we've got 150 chimps left. What have we become conscious of these last 50 years? Where have we been? We've been processing moons. I know people who say, I'm, in the, I'm, I'm working to become conscious, but I won't look at the TV and I won't read the news. Then what are you becoming conscious of? Myself. <laughs> now I have to tell you something. That's exactly the formula through which you cannot heal. You cannot heal. Do you, can you understand that? That kind of narcissism is the classic formula for fueling your own rage. Your own rage. Narcissism, and it's about me. It's about me. It's about my time, my space, my needs, my this, my wounds, my this. I have to tell you that the ungenerous heart and the narcissist go to the hospital and get your meds because you cannot, it is not possible to find yourself healing from the serious disorders that require an emergence into a cosmic level of consciousness.